to, to, to meditation, meditation is used to eliminate uh, destructive emotions or afflictions, or sometimes we can summarize them as the three poisons, right? Anger, uh, attachment and ignorance. First, attachment, generally speaking, the, the traditional presentation. So, attachment is a mind that overestimates the qualities of its object that are not really there. For example, it can be a person, it can be an object or a nice meal or things you order online, right? You have this expectation, if I have this, ah, oh, I will make me so happy. So you make this mental image, believing yourself that the qualities you impute, you mentally create, they're actually with the object. You, you mentally create that. And then you think this mental image is the object. And then the pizza arrives and the pizza is not, is not very warm if you just ordered it online and the pizza is, is not as tasty as you expected and there's no satisfaction, right? The object of attachment, they, they, you overestimate qualities and when you're separated from it, you, you feel uh, distress. And that's a problem. There's nothing wrong with relationships, there's nothing wrong with eating things, but attachment, that is the problem. Because attachment has too many expectations and they're not met and because of that you, you are not satisfied. Yeah? So you don't find what you're looking for, basically. Yeah. And then um, anger is the other um, kind of poison, so to say. Anger is a state of mind that does the opposite from attachment. Anger overestimates or superimposes the faults of its object, mentally created, of a person or situation. When you walk away from this situation, you create this image of this person or situation, and then uh, you think, you know, you overestimate the, the faults of that person or situation, which may, may mean you're all there, and your friend pats you on the shoulder and says, come on, this person is not that bad after all. You say, no, no, not true, because you don't want to believe in the qualities of the person. You only see the faults. Yeah, so that means anger has this aspect of overestimating the faults and wants to be separated from its object. Attachment overestimates the qualities and doesn't like to be separated. Yeah, so that's kind of two states of mind that are not in accordance with reality and that's exactly why they cause a problem. And it's even more true for the third one, which is ignorance. Ignorance is a misunderstanding of reality. And that's why it causes a problem. And we see that with many other forms of, of modern uh, mental issues, like anxiety, fear, depression, is you believe in a reality which is not there. And that misunderstanding of reality causes a problem. With ignorance, it's kind of the root of all these issues is rooted, what we say, in ignorance. Ignorance is the root of all suffering. Why? Because Anger is rooted in ignorance, attachment is rooted in ignorance. For example, if you ask a person, I count to three, and you get angry, okay, let's do it. One, two, three, there you go. It's very difficult to get angry, right? But if you look at a person, you say, oh, look at your hair, look at your glasses, look at what you're wearing, it's like disgusting. Then the person says, I, how dare this person say this to me, and anger comes, right? Yeah, so same with attachment, I need this, I need that. So it's always rooted in a concept of I am mine. And this I am mine, the question is, does it exist the way it appears? Because the way it appears causes a problem. And this is not only true in Buddhism, that we see that there is no from its own side existing entity out there in the, in the objects, in our body, in our mind. Everything is in the nature of dependent origination, right? So that's why the Buddha 2,500 years ago already talked about the view of emptiness or ultimate reality, that everything is dependent, nothing exists from its own side. So that appears as I and mine appears to exist from its own side and that's why we get angry, that's why attachment comes, that's why it's jealousy, that's why it's pride, that's why it's anxiety, fear, depression, because there's a lot of things related with the concept of I and mine, right? So that doesn't really exist the way it appears. And then if you see findings in modern science, in particular in the field of quantum mechanics, you come to people like David Bohm or Carlo Rovelli who talk on the same level. There is no concrete entity to be found anywhere. And even David Bohm once said, you know, the self-deceptive thought or the self-identity, which we call ignorance, is just a show. It's not really there. But then he said, it's a very convincing show and that's why people take it as an apparent reality. Which is very interesting because we think it's there and that's why I believe in it. But actually if you analyze in your body, in your mind, you cannot really find a concrete from its own side existing I or mine. Yeah? So that's what the Buddha uh, 
explained how to actually eliminate this, this ignorance, which is the root of, of, of all forms of afflictions. Yeah.